Founders Floor, a co-working accelerator for startups. So um, three steps, users, revenues, and costs. Okay, let's talk about user economics, unit economics. Procopia Law, the recommended law firm of Founders Floor. Okay, so I call it rollout because based on that you can have, you, you model your growth, okay? So there's a few best practices and then I'm going to show an example. So um, when we talk about unit economics, um, the first thing is, or units or growth, um, you need to identify your modeling unit. So whatever it is in your industry that you're modeling, it can be a user, it could be a unit of product, be a subscriber, it could be a channel to market, what I call an intermediary, it can be a lot of different things. Uh, whatever it is that anchors your model, um, I can't tell you offhand for every for every industry, but but you know there's, there's good good um, kind of uh, uh, common sense recommendations for most industries, and then sometimes we have unique cases where we model something else. Uh, select your business model. That's really important too. So how are you gonna um, how are you gonna grow? And, and there's a lot of things in that. Well, are you selling? You can mix the models. Um, I, I'm, I'm, an, I'm, I'm a good advocate of simplicity. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Keep it simple, OK? You can mix and match, but keep it simple so investors understand what you're talking about. And you understand what you need to do. Too. It's not just for investors, it's also for you, OK? Um, so you need to understand your economics so you can represent it. And when I talk about economics, I talk about the incremental cost. So what is the cost of adding one unit? And what are you going to make off of that unit? As simple as that. Um, and align your unit story with all the other stories. So, so what do I mean by that? What I mean by that is that uh, numbers, the numbers in my mind are the last thing that you do. Um, there's, there's things that you know, um, that you need to know and plot out your timelines for product, uh, R&D, uh, IP, if you have an IP strategy, that's really important some of these days, it can be very critical and launch, which is your marketing, your go-to market. So you need to have your marketing story. Going viral is not a strategy, we talked about that. Uh, you need to have your product development timeline and you need to have your R&D and, and, and those things depend on each other and there's lead time. So before you get to market, this is an example from one of, one of our clients that was making a 3D printer. Very complex product and requires multiple components and development on multiple fronts. Before you get a unit to the market, you kind of have to go backwards and say, okay, it's gonna take me, my R&D is gonna to take to get to this point, then my product is gonna take here, and then, so everything needs to be laid out. So when you, when you start showing units in the market, it needs to be aligned with your story, okay? So that's why I'm saying the numbers come last. All of that needs to be, needs to be at least thought out, okay?